What's up guys? Um, today I went to McDonald's to celebrate. I'm just kidding, I don't know why I just said that. I went to McDonald's because I thoroughly enjoy the taste of McDonald's. McDonald's is absolutely my favorite um, fast food restaurant. And I highly recommend if you're looking for something cheap and delicious. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot of new food there too. Chicken tenders I noticed and the fish fillets back for a little while. I'd highly hop on that if I were you, if you like fish. But of course, this is a keto version. I went ahead and bought um, four double cheeseburgers without any bun. And I went took the liberty to save time. I went ahead and um, just, you know, made the burger that I'm gonna eat, which is just sticking two of them together. I also went ahead and asked for some ranch. Uh, you know, it's just typical ranch, nothing special about it. Um, the burgers are pretty delicious there. You got the cheese pretty melted. Melted, you got the you know, pickles. I, I, I didn't add any ketchup, that's a little added carbs I don't need. Um, of course, each slice is you know, the American cheese. Well, it's, it's considered vegan cheddar is um, a carb. So, I mean, about a carb. Uh, I, went, I did the math on the McDonald's nutrition. I'm looking at at least, you know, three carbs per burger. Um, not patty, but burger order. So, three, six, nine, twelve, 12, and that's fine. I, um, you know, I can, I can handle that. Maybe it's a little less. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and dig in. I'm pretty hungry. Just got off work. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that just the there's Diet Coke to go with it. There's just something about the flavor of McDonald's. It's just so like I wouldn't even say it's umami, of course. That's like, you know, you don't get that flavor from McDonald's beef, of course. Mmm. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of fast food, of course. You know, Jack in the Box, I'll fill every once in a while, Burger King. You notice they have like very particular flavors. Now this has citrusy, I don't know, I, I, I seem to taste citrusy. And it could be the pickles, the pickles are pretty, pretty much like soaking in vinegar for however long that they sit there. It's a little onions are nice. Mm -hmm. Little onions, they, they pop. And this is, they claim to be vegan cheese. and Couldn't tell you what the difference is between real cheese and vegan cheese, to be honest. It's, and when I was doing the nutritional facts, I I read that pretty, pretty interesting. I had no idea. You know, it's weird now that I like think about it. I don't know if it's me like convincing myself that I'm tasting like the non dairy of it. Let me try it again. You know how dairy has like the bitter, sharp is a better term. It's sharp. This isn't sharp, but also neither is American, and I don't know if they're going for cheddar or American with that. I can't stop. It was a perfect bite every time. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just accustomed to this flavor. I used to eat this a lot younger. You know, when I was younger, I'm assuming it might be, um, you know, what do you call it? Nostalgic, nostalgic flavor. And of course, I don't know if you've noticed this either, but maybe it's just me. I can't mix. Um, different fast food uh, condiments with other fast foods like McDonald's ranch tastes good with McDonald's I would prefer not to eat it with you know like Jack in the Box as, as an example I don't know why I did this 
I just felt like I wanted to tear it off so I can get a nice old big old dip in there, you know. But the buttermilk's good at Jack in the Box, but I don't know if it'd be good with McDonald's. I haven't, you know, tried that in a while. Oh, it's so juicy. It's so juicy. Every bite is just... I don't know what it is. What do they do to these patties, you know? Or it's, maybe it's all that cheese or something. It does have some mustard in there. I noticed. A little bit of mustard. Right inside. I'm assuming they just fry it like right on top or something. Looks like, right? It's right there. Hmm. You know, I've, like I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I've been having a hard time like managing time itself. Like, you know, I don't have that many, how much time in the day to do all the things I want to do. I almost feel like I have to break down like separate days for separate things. Of course, I wanted to make this my Monday thing and, you know, I got busy yesterday. I don't even remember what I did. I have no idea. Oh, no. <laughs> Every day just becomes a blur at some point. Like this weekend was pretty cool. Went to my friend's house. And, you know, me, him, his, his brother, and his brother's partner. And we're playing Mario Kart. We're playing Rock Band. We're playing this game called like what's like this beat 'em up game. The physics are very like flam flammy. And um, like like super ragdollish. It was pretty interesting. It's just a fighting game up to like four people. I would say eight people actually because we played online. That was fun. It was relaxing, you know. It's it nice when you have a long week to really do nothing for um, a couple of days, you know. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and. I'm not done yet. Can you even see that? Oh, no. This is. But um, McDonald's Ranch. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, I've been a huge fan of Buffalo Wild Wing Ranch. It's pretty good. Wingstop Ranch. And, you know, I would <laughs> argue that's the best. You can, you can argue with me all you want. But... Wingstop Ranch. To the to whoever created that one. I have a feeling that they I'm sorry, I have a feeling that they add sugar to it, to be honest. It's really sweet. It's a really sweet flavor. Like I can't even just get like a get old big old dip in there, right? Mmm. Well, yeah. I like started this video and the way that it looked on my screen because I'm using the front facing camera at the moment till I get a better rig. I thought it was a lot less food, but man, there's a lot of bites that go into the into this here the multitude of patties. It doesn't matter how like cold or lukewarm it gets. It's the same exact flavor, you know. And the collection is just like the the sourness of the pickle or the juiciness. These are actually a really tender burger. You'd be surprised. Like I don't know if they get enough credit. I mean, they are like the biggest fast food joint. Maybe that's. That's probably why maybe they, they do have juicy burgers or, you know, people, you know, like to talk a lot about McDonald's, but, 
you know, if you like it, you like it, can't change that out. Some people like to play instruments, guitar, piano. I like to eat at McDonald's and enjoy the harmonies of beef patty, ranch, and vegan cheese. I did break my keto this weekend. I did. And of course, it was not the best feeling in the world. Of course, I loved it though. Uh, one of my favorite food is pizza. And if you've ever been to my, Mountain Mike's, you know that they have the um, pineapple chicken luau. Now, my friend's brother bought two, I would say the largest size that they have of pineapple chicken luau. And we went to town on that pizza. <laughs> there was so much left over. And I went to his house the next day during the day, uh, way out came out it's another game on uh, ps4 we were just running through that all day and of course i had pizza you can't just leave you can't just leave pizza for a couple days you gotta treat it with respect you know if you're gonna buy pizza and eat it especially when is that good I'm actually being pretty full here. Largest size, one dollar. You know, other fast foods, they gotta keep up. Mm -hmm. Carl's Jr. is still like four dollars for a large. And when I checked over the weekend, I realized I was gonna get Carl's Jr. and changed my mind. And luckily I did. You know, still about two, three dollars over at the other fast foods or restaurants and stuff. This is one dollar. I did see a video and I don't know if it's this restaurant or not that all the sizes are the same when you pour it out. I don't, I don't remember if it's McDonald's. It's because this looks really big compared to a small, I feel like. But maybe I haven't, I've never ordered a small, so maybe that's what <laughs> See, that's why they're a dollar. It's a size that challenges the illusion. You know, if you're looking for a cheap meal that's going to fill you up, this is eight dollars, nine dollars, and go drink. This is a very satisfying meal. Of course, if you want to add veggies and make it a balanced dinner, I would recommend that because I didn't buy any veggies. I should have bought a salad, actually. I ate it with my meal. It would have been smart. Why don't fast foods sell, I think, broccoli or, or carrots on the side or something? Like a, like a healthier side versus french fries. I'm sure people would order it. I wouldn't. Mm. I noticed I, I picked it up the speed a little faster when I recognized I was getting full. I was like, all right, I gotta finish this. That is also one of the best parts. <sighs> Washing it all down. Big ol' sips. Well, that seems to be it for this week. Shoot for something next week. Gotta really think about what I want. You know, spice it up. Something that's gonna be cherry on top to a couple of these. Thank you for watching. Um,
beautiful. I feel so relieved. Um, yeah.